What's up, Social Cam? Uh, happy Monday to everybody. Uh, I'm sitting here setting up, getting ready for this uh, session today, uh, a little uh, writing session uh, with, a, with, a, with a good to our friend, Buddy, uh, working on some stuff for finally our jazz album, The Baylor Project. So I'm excited about that. But man, I've just been in an old school, just churchy mood. Uh, well, I got to say churchy. I just say an old school mood lately with gospel music. Uh, it just constantly makes me reminisce on what got me started with the gift of playing drums. Man, I remember just playing in tent revivals at the age of, man, I think I was the church drummer, I think at, at five. Actually, no, I was a church drummer at five years old. I started playing at two. And man, there's nothing like that training. I remember playing in tent revivals, and I'm talking about we would be on that same song for like an hour. It felt like hours, shout music, whatever it was, doing altar call, you know, we went in, but I wouldn't trade those days for nothing. I mean, that made me who I am today. Uh, even the endurance of playing with different artists, we may be, you know, if I'm playing with Kenny Garrett, we could be playing Giant Steps for a long time, but you know, they got me ready for Playing in church got me ready for what I'm doing now. I mean, and it's just, you know, you know what? Let, let me just give you a, a, a just a, just a little taste. See if y'all old old folk, old folk that grew up in church remember this one. In the morning, when I rise, in the morning. I remember that but I'm telling you there is nothing like that boy that that pocket that groove and the spirit in it there is nothing like it those old mothers will go in I remember back in the day with mother Moore Robert Moore's all y'all that know Robert Moore in St. Louis that goes to my family church y'all remember his mom she would take you in and she would point that finger you better live right Lord, my god I'm telling you now it was serious back then and it's still you know serious today but I just want to let y'all know but uh, that was really just, man, I still enjoy listening to a lot of the old, you know, the old, what we would call testimony music, or, or what, which is today they call it, uh, what is it, praise and worship team. But we had testimony where it was three or four people on the mic, and, if, and testimony service was when you would get up and, uh, you know, where you would stand up and just say something good about what God has done in your life. But back in the day, they would tell you either testify or sing a song but you can't do both so if you sing a song don't testify if you testify don't sing a song sister donna uh, evangelist donna scott <laughs> that's that's my buddy in st louis as well she gonna laugh at that one but any case man you know for all y'all that uh that need exp you know that would like to be exposed to some of this music check out there's a great album called uh Carlton Pearson live at Azusa. This album is probably at least 15, 20 years old, and he's doing a lot of the the old school, uh, 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 what we call, what would we call it back then? Was it called praise music? No, it was called, we'll call it worship service. I can't remember what we used to call it, but we would just start off, and it would be for about a, a good strong hour of just that. And people would get their, you know, what we call breakthroughs or deliverance or just, man, Man, but you know what? I can go on and on, but it's been four minutes already. But in any case, check that out. Uh, Carlton Pearson, Live at Azusa. Man, it's a great album and uh, some great music, and that's what I grew up playing. So holla at y'all later, and y'all enjoy this Monday, this week, and uh, holla at y'all later. Peace. God bless y'all.